everybody, I'm Alexis. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about how you can tell if you are a thinker or feeler in the Myers-Briggs system. Um, one caveat that I want to give is that this does go a level deeper into cognitive function. So everyone in their personality actually does have both a thinking and a feeling function. Um, so you have the capacity to do both. The only difference is that you do have a preference and there's one that you are using more often than you are using the other. So the EPs and the IJs are the ones that are going to come off on the cusp of seeming like somewhat of both a thinker and a feeler. And the IPs and the EJs are going to come off a little bit more sure on if they are a thinker or a feeler. I've noticed that sometimes as individuals we can kind of overestimate or underestimate our own abilities. So that's why it's kind of important that as you answer these questions, am I an introvert or an extrovert or a thinker or a feeler? to do this with someone who knows you very well and have them compare you against the general population. For all of these, you could make an argument that you're one or the other, but the difference is compared to the population, are you more like this or like this? So it's kind of in reference to others. Okay, so the first way to tell, your thinking and feeling function is what you make decisions around. So for example, feelers are going to say things like, people should be more kind, people should be more authentic, people should pay attention to other people's emotions, people should be empathetic, people should be true to their identity at all costs. These are things that feelers are going to say and it's very should statements and so, if one of those people is in a relationship with someone who does not have that same criteria for how things should be done, that might make them a little bit upset. That's one way to tell. Feelers tend to become more upset when people are not kind and empathetic and considerate. On the other hand, thinkers are going to say things more like, people should be truthful. People should be logical. We should be as efficient as possible. We should optimize and be the best version of ourselves that we can be. While everyone gets upset when people don't show empathy, thinkers are going to get more upset if people do not acknowledge facts and logic that they believe to be true. And they're also going to be upset when people show lack of thought. So this is kind of one way to tell. When thinkers and feelings have these different metrics for how things should be done, that's going to cause them to get upset about different things. So that's kind of the first way to tell. Which do you tend to get more upset about most of the time? The second way to tell is, in what realm of your life do you tend to feel most like yourself? Is that at work when you are getting things done? Or is that in relationships? And I would say that thinkers tend to feel more confident when they are getting things done and when they are in the realm of work. And work tends to be, it tends to be a lot more about getting things done and it is the craft that you are kind of honing. Um, and so if you don't work, you could kind of apply this to Maybe it's a hobby, but it could be a job. So like, do you feel most like yourself then? Or do you feel most like yourself in relationships when you're talking to people, when you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation? Um, and like I said, for some of those types, they're going to be on the cusp of this. So the IJs and the EPs are going to be more on the cusp of being unsure about this. Whereas if you're an IP or an EJ, you're probably more sure with your answer to this question. Third way to tell, let's say someone is trying to convince you to do something. Would you be more likely persuaded by a very compelling story of one individual or would you be more persuaded by a mountain of facts? Basically, are you, is something more compelling to you when it is grounded in someone's personal experience, um, when it's grounded in something moral or is something more compelling using deductive reasoning, this falls from this, falls from this, falls from this, which way are you most easily persuaded by? I've noticed that sometimes as individuals, we can kind of overestimate or underestimate our own abilities. So that's why it's kind of important that as you answer these questions, am I an introvert or an extrovert or a thinker or a feeler, to do this with someone who knows you very well and have them compare you against the general population. So the next video that I recommend that you go watch is are you a P or a J in the Myers-Briggs system? This will kind of end our series on which dichotomy you are. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.